Hello, beautiful soul family. Okay. Hello, I thought I would jump on and speak about intuition and really listening to your inner voice, your inner guidance and what that means. I have women coming to me all the time and asking me, but how do I know the difference between my old patterns and fear playing when I'm making decisions, especially um, when going, you know, in a relationship, a new relationship, or when I need to make, um, yeah, a really big decision in my life versus my intuition. So how do I know the difference? First of all, it's so important that you recognize that you have the power and the wisdom and the answers, you, you have it always within you. And you have this power in this body as a woman to tap into this guidance, to tune into this wisdom and to know what the next step really is, to know what you need and what you want, what you desire and what you need to do in different situations. You have this knowledge, you have this know-how. The thing is, we need to practice tuning into this know-how because we have been taught to listen out or look outside of ourselves. We tend to ask other people or we watch what other people are doing. We compare ourselves. We look for validation. We look for safety and love outside of ourselves. And everything then becomes this thing that we do outside of ourselves. And I did this for many years in my younger years, always seeking external validation, always asking, well, what should I do here? And this really fed into this idea of, well, I wasn't trusting myself, really. We're taught to not look at our own wisdom. We're taught not to listen and uh, really come into attunement to that, that know-how, that intuitive guidance the answers and so we continuously look outside of ourselves but you always know the answer every question you you need clarity on you know you have the answers within you because you are not given this desire or question this uh, spark of curiosity for out of coincidence, for nothing. Every spark of curiosity and desire within you has come from this deep space within you and was given to you for you to continue rising, at rising and up leveling in this bigger vibe of you. And we are constantly being asked to, in very subtle ways, to continue listening to those um, pieces of wisdom that show up for us. So it takes a bit of time because we haven't been taught how to listen or how to tune into this inner wisdom. It takes a bit of time to um, reactivate and reconnect and develop this muscle, you can say, until you begin to listen to it, it becomes your, your way. You just don't doubt it anymore. Well, you will, there will be times where you doubt, but the, the wisdom becomes louder than the doubt. And that's the space that we want to be tuning into. Rather than making decisions or doing things in life 
constantly in this search for making sense of things, your intuition will not usually make sense. Your intuition is the feminine and the feminine is this space of the unknown and she exists within your body. It's not in your mind. Your mind is there to make sense of certain things for logic, for getting things done, but it's not always your truth, where your truth exists. Your truth exists deep within your body, within your self. Well, it's connected to your soul. It's, you will hear it in your heart, in your womb. And knowing this know-how, this is very powerful for women because this is the space where we begin to then thrive and open to other opportunities in our life. And this is how we begin to attract the things that are meant for us, the things that where your soul is like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> that feels good. And so we need to be continuously coming into this space within your body, in your heart, in your womb. And a lot of, and instead of bypassing it because it doesn't make sense or because your, your mind will come in and say that, that just sounds ridiculous. This makes sense because I've read that here. As a woman, you have such ancient wisdom held in your body and when you listen, life begins to fall into place. So the thing that we need to do is to learn how to distinguish between the yes and the no's until that just becomes your default way of moving through life. And there are different practices that can help you to do this, to help you make decisions, to help you um, bring in a new relationship and deciding if the relationship is worth moving on to or just different things where um, life is being asked is being asked of you to listen and what you need to know is that your intuition is this space inside of you that feels safe it feels grounded. It feels neutral, settled. And this is why we need to uh, practice knowing what, the sa what safety feels like in our body and not constantly being in the mind, constantly being in this unregulated nervous system your intuition will speak to you when you are calm, when you are grounded, when you create space in your body for her to be heard. So it will feel, it will come from that place of, well, this is, this feels loving. This feels soothing. So it is that space inside of you that, yeah, that feels settled. It feels gentle whereas your fear will come from that place of um where you don't feel safe in your body it's the opposite to that feeling and it will make you question yourself it will make you uh, doubt yourself so that's why it's important to know the difference between okay this is oh, my self-doubt is playing here because that's what I'm used to, living from that space um, rather than, okay, this feels good. Okay, th yeah, that feels like a yes. Doesn't make sense, <laughs> but it will and I need to trust it. So your intuition is asking you to trust and you will feel her in your body, not in your mind, not in the, the thoughts that play. It's a feeling. It's a deep uh, sense of, okay, this feels solid. This feels neutral. feels soft. 
It feels lovely. And remember, your fear is not a bad thing either, but we want to make those decisions from our space of that, that spark of inner knowing. Your fear sometimes is what has um, helped you to also listen to your intuition because you will know from that space, okay, that is not a place where I want to go again doesn't feel good I know that and so I will now choose to listen to that spark inside of me where it feels feels good it feels gentle it feels soothing it feels grounding and that's what we want to turn into tune into this is the feminine and if we allow our feminine to guide us she will show us the way and she will but and she lives in the body as i was saying so know the difference i teach these things in my programs to know the difference as well between the fear and the intuitive knowings because i provide this space for you where i don't give you answers but you you drop into this space of safety where it feels good to trust that space inside of you where you know that that is your answer you become your own wisdom keeper because that is what you are you are the wisdom keeper so I can keep going on and on about this <laughs> but remember your fear of the worries, the old patterns, not believing in yourself, um, the self-critic, the place where inside of you, you feel a little bit anxious and you start to judge yourself and you go into worry and then you, um, you don't feel settled and you might feel this is where it's good to know where that is playing in your body. You might feel uh, tense in your belly not 10 maybe stuck in your throat your heart beats in a way that makes you feel unsafe so know the difference whereas your intuition you just feel that soft gentle place inside of you that just feels like I said it feels neutral and it feels like an instant Yes, now we, that's where we need to make space for that instant yes to blossom through us. Otherwise, we, we don't hear it. We block it. And we block it because our heart is heavy. Our heart is closed. Our womb is cold. And she's there to speak to you always. So it's important to create the space around you where you know you can feel grounded where you know that you can go into that space and feel safe and in that place you know okay this is what makes me feel safe to make a decision rather than being in a place where oh you feel distracted or a bit stressed or you um you've got social media you know in front of you Let's move away from that. Come into this regulated, come into a space where you allow your nervous system to feel regulated, where your body relaxes. And you can do that by just make, taking a couple of deep breaths. I'm going to, in the Facebook group, share um, a little gentle heart womb activation breath where you can listen to that yes deep within you, where we drop from the mind and we come down into this soft, gentle space, but very powerful space within you where you access this know-how, this wisdom, and that is through your heart and womb. And again, this is what I share inside my programs. Um, I also have a free seven day program where I will, sh I do share a couple of practices with you that 
help you to regulate your nervous system, to help you tap into your intuition, to help you go into that space where you feel connected to your heart and your womb. So you, you understand where that space inside of you is that feels neutral and authentic. And that feels like that, yes. So as I said, we need to create the space that feels nourishing. We can take a couple of deep breaths and we make space for our beautiful feminine energy to come through us. We can do that through pleasure practices. I offer that as well. Actually, most of my Feminine Remembrance Come Home to Yourself program is about that safety and intuition and love and pleasure. We do it all through pleasure, those things that make you oh, feel like a yes. But you know, you, you are your own healer. You are your own wisdom keeper. You have all the answers with you, within you. Okay, I will leave you there. Thank you so much if you are watching this. I'm also letting you know, sending a big announcement to you that I have a new three-day masterclass series, plus there will be a bonus ceremony, a life ceremony where we can tap, come together as sisters to witness one another and we can begin to tap into this knowing through our sensuality. These three days is all about manifesting the feminine way, you becoming that magnet to love, to the big love, which I believe is what we're all here for, is to continue turning into that love. So your first day will be all about the magnetic woman and how you can use your beautiful feminine gifts to help you flourish to help you manifest with ease and to feel rooted in your body to tap into those intuitive knowings the second day will be pleasure for healing where I will share with you how your pleasure can lead your life rather than leading from anxiety or those limited beliefs that keep you stuck in the same patterns or challenges we've all been there <laughs> and the third day will be about inviting in the big love how your feminine is really the the blessing to to him to the relationship that you deserve to have and how your feminine is your way for manifesting through your radiance. Okay, so I'll drop the link there. Make sure that you sign up and register for that. It is free, but I'll be back to share a little bit more soon. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Jessica Angelari and so much love to you. Bye.